Sitting on Gumtree, here we go. We have a cabinet. Now it looks like a handkin. Looks like a handkin. Looks everything like a handkin. But I've been down this road before. Remember when we got the Sega Blast and I got the, the fake copy one here and I got a little bit duped. I duped myself before I went out there thinking that it might have been a real one of course found out straight away that it wasn't so I, I was careful this time I went through and I did some my research I started looking at real handguns there's there's reproductions being made even today there's people that have licenses to to reproduce those some of the sponsors on Aussie Arcade do do that and awesome looking machines if you did want to buy a brand new one you can get them now um, so I had to be careful though, because I, you know, I, I, for, for me, I really do want to look for one that's been out in the field. You know, it's got some history, and is you know for original from back in the day. That's 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 the whole sort of feel for me uh, around these cabinets. So I looked really hard, <laughs> and I could see bolts and bolts. And I think it was a couple of variations of that cocktail cabinet. And I found one guy who'd done a complete strip down. To, to a restore of a handkin cabinet and I found that that cabinet matched everything to this one that I saw on Gumtree. Now, of course, the big thing straight away is it's, it's all the wrong colors. You know, it should have wood grain top, it should have wood grain sides, it should have black on the control panels, it, it didn't. But I really felt that that probably was due to just it being painted over. It looked a little bit rough. So I was sort of quietly hoping in the back of my head that yeah that would be just something to to maybe scrape away so guys let's get this off the tripod and let me show you the cabinet because i have picked it up it is here it is here in the theater and um let's take a look at it and here it is guys so yeah you can see right look at the coloring now it's black and it's black on the top and it should be wood color but if you look closely Look closely, what's that peeking out under there? That is indeed the wood grain finish. The wood grain veneer is or should be under here. You see that? You can also see a peak under here, underneath the, uh, the top of the wood grain finish. So if we lift this up, lo and behold, there we go guys, look at that, the beautiful wood grain finish. That's how it should look on the top. So you know what we gotta do, we've gotta get this black paint off for sure. Now it looks like a, a new monitor in here. Um, certainly a very, very new tube. He was going on about it, how good it was. It has got a pretty bad wobble. I imagine that might be due to the earthing in there, maybe. I need to check that out. But, uh, other than that, I mean, the wiring inside and stuff is a little bit dodgy, guys. But I'll tell you this, I got pretty excited about the fact that I might be able to get this paint off. So I did a little test and um, I used some of that oomph stuff that I've shown in previous episodes. And I'll show you the result that it did. Just hang on a second. And there we go, guys. Look at that. So I just used a bit of oomph and just uh, a little bit of the magic eraser and it's all under there. So that's going to be the first order of business is to get this back looking how it should be looking. And those feet, those legs need to be black. And actually, you know what? They would look really awesome if they were chrome, but they never were chrome in the day. So I think I'll put them back to black and this panel here should be black. So that needs to come off and be painted. And then of course, we'll get all the beautiful wood grain come back up on here. And you know, this is what I'm saying about these control panels. You know, you can just take these off and effectively, you know, you could have a interchangeable control panel here. You can see where the screen is and how big it is here and the space in between so that you can rotate this round and move the bezel around. It really is a great design. So I'll show you inside as well. The, it, the machine came with a Wonderboy PCB and it is working. When I got it home and turned it on, uh, it wasn't working, but then I quickly opened the door and I figured out why. And that's because it's all a bit of a, uh, a mess inside and that's all gonna need to be fixed up. So let me just open it up and I'll show you the inside and we'll stick, uh, get Wonderboy going and then I'll let you know what the plan is for this awesome machine.
So let's look at the nice surprises we have in here. <laughs> First of all, well, someone's created a little jammer fingerboard converter, like the similar to the one that I used on the uh, Hyper Olympic, but a little bit more of a hack job. Uh, and yeah, guys, look, this is all sort of loose. And when this door closes, it's right here against the power supply. Now, I know the finish is painted, but oh, there's a few scratches on there. Effectively, this wiring is all just sort of jammed up against there. <laughs> it's not, that's not good. And I have looked at another uh, Hankin original cabinet, and that wiring does look like the original wiring for the jammer harness. But yeah, this monitor, I mean, this definitely looks like a new tube here. And that looks like a relatively new chassis. Um, but I am a little bit concerned about the picture quality. Let's just flick up here and show you. Although the picture is very nice, we, I don't know if you're going to be able to detect on here because of the movement of the camera, but it's got, it's got a pretty severe wobble. I'm trying to keep it nice and still here so you can, you can see. Maybe hard to pick up, but yeah, I don't know if I could play very long with that. It looks like also we haven't quite got the levels right, but I mean, generally, I, I think it's an excellent tube. So maybe just some a bit of configuration, checking all the earthing cables and so forth um, might be able to resolve that. We have a fan in here that's dodgy, and check out the wiring here. Look, there's some exposed wiring <laughs> just hanging around. That's not good, guys. I don't have exposed wiring and it's so funny the inside of these boxes unfortunately they are made with particle board it's not um, it's not ply but that's the original so that's how the Hankins were made so it is all genuine and uh, the <laughs> it's funny he was saying oh the coin the coin mech works beautifully he stuck a dollar in there and it was he was like bang 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 when he's <laughs> trying to get the game to start uh, so yeah, that needs a bit of work, but regardless, I, 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 I have a bit of a plan for this machine. Okay, so let's, let's perhaps just talk about that now. First of all, overall, what are we doing? Overall, what are we doing here? I want to get that top lid off and get that, all that black paint off straight away. I want to get the side panels done and get that back to wood grain. I want to take the uh, the joystick panels off completely and get them painted up in black. I want to take the legs off, get them painted up in black, and I also want to lower this thing. <laughs> I love lower, lowering these cabs. This is too high at the moment. It's too imposing in the room, and so we want to we can get it dropped down on here by two notches, get it sitting on the floor, and once those aesthetic things are done I think this is just going to look really really nice so the only thing really I'm not touching for now is the middle piece here which eventually I will get out strip away you know the whole interior and get it painted black again but I'm not going to do that right now and I'll tell you why because this is going to be a sort of multi-step process and what I'm going to do is I'll get all that that done I'll fix up how this board is um, and how this power supply is so that there is you know no way that these wires can just be hanging around and knocking onto each other and I'll actually get Wonder Boy just running in here for the moment that that's 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 step number one and I'll try and see if I can work out that wobble with the monitor just to work that out and so I'll play it like that for a while I'll get a uh, Raspberry Jammer ordered and then when the Raspberry Jammer comes along, what we'll do is we'll get that in there, we'll get the PCB out of here, and we'll have it rig it up just with Jammer with the Raspberry, uh, Raspberry Pi. We'll flick this screen around vertical, and we'll get all the classics on there, head to head, the normal cocktail arrangement. So that's gonna be step number two, and I'm sure I'll be able to enjoy that for a little while. So, yeah, let's have a, a little quick go at Wonder Boy. Now guys, this isn't a game that I used to play. <laughs> this is really what I discovered at the moment. I know that this is actually a pretty popular game and a lot of people actually really, really like it. 
and uh, in the way I could sort of see some Mario competition that, that Sega was going after at the time, I guess. But, um, you know, it seems like a, a pretty cool game. The, the music tends to get a little bit on your, uh, <laughs> on your nerves, a bit repetitive. But uh, yeah, you've got to pick up the, the fruit, to keep your health up, I believe. But yeah, I don't actually know a lot about this game. But you know, it seems pretty cool. Cute graphics. Side-scrolling platformer. Hop on the skateboard. Oh, I, I shouldn't be dodging. Oh, Jesus, I'm dodging the fruit. Whoop! Watch out for the bees. Got a bit of degaussing needs to happen on the screen, too, once it gets in its final position. Won't worry about that now. So, yeah, I don't know. It's sort of a, it's sort of a fun little game. So, it might be quite cool to have this. Just hooked up with the PCB for a while and uh, give it a little bit of a go. And then we'll um, get the jammer pie, get the screen vertical. I mean, geez, that's such a nice big screen. This is exactly what I wanted, guys, exactly. For this, oh, oh shoot. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> you guys what, you guys that have played this are going, what's he doing? Why isn't he moving? <laughs> Sorry guys, I am a noob. A very big noob at this game. That's pretty cool though. I'm warming to it. But that music... <laughs> Why couldn't they change the music? Okay, now I've got this... Vi this is a vitality thing, isn't it? Yeah, some sort of health thing. St section 4, is it? Oh, I made the jump. I mean, you know, given that I haven't really played this game, it gives you a fair bit of uh, play on your on your one coin. Hey, got to the goal. That's cool. So yeah, I'm still seeing that that little bit of that wobble, guys but um, you probably can't really see it on the picture here. Okay, what do I do here? Dive in the water? Oh no, stay on the clouds. <laughs> Don't dive in the water. Holy cow. Okay, skateboard into the ocean. All right. Gonna have to be careful with that. Do I, oh no, okay. Get the axe this time. Hey. <laughs> Little octopus dude. Cool. I think even like new people to platformers, which these days probably isn't very many, but you know, young kids will probably really like this as well. Easy game to play, fun graphics. You know, not too difficult. Those octopuses aren't too scary. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm getting some uh, my money's worth. And by the way, this machine apparently was in a pizza bar in Northbridge, which is a sort of party district in the uh, in the city from days gone old. So it certainly would have seen a seen a lot of action, a lot of use. Geez, they just made that. Okay, what have we got here? Got natives. I've got that thing again. Does that mean I can just run into people? I think it does, doesn't it, when I've got the... Wow, I'm on fire here, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, that was dumb. Well, there you go. Actually quite enjoyed that. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's uh, get this wrapped up. So there you have it. That's the uh, pickup of the Hankin cocktail. So if you like this video, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time, but until then, take care.
Ciao for now.